Hey dancers, it's time for activity number two, our origami dessert menu. Today for this activity, we're gonna be making two different origami desserts, a soft serve ice cream cone, a little mini cupcake. In your bag, you'll find a bunch of sheets of origami paper. That's so you can make as many of these as you would like. You'll also find one sheet of white cardstock. That's for you to make a menu if you choose to. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. We're gonna start by making the cupcake. For this, you'll just need one sheet of paper, and it's better to have a sheet of paper that's got either a pattern or color on one side and white or a different color on the other side. We're gonna start by turning our paper into a diamond shape and folding it corner to corner in half, creating a triangle from our diamond. Open back up. Twist it around so that that line that you made is going straight up and down and do the same thing in the other direction. This is gonna make a big X crease in the middle of our paper. And open it back up. Now you should have a line going from top to bottom and from side to side corner. Now we wanna take our bottom corner and fold it up so that that point comes right to the center of our paper where the two creases meet. Take that point and fold it back the opposite way down to the bottom edge so that the point matches up with the bottom edge and make another crease. Now we take this top edge that we just created right here on this flap and fold it, tucking it really tightly, keep that corner tucked in so that that edge meets up with the bottom edge. You want your point to stay hidden underneath that little fold there. So now we've got kind of a trapezoid shape on top of another trapezoid shape, all folded up. Unfold everything that you just did. You'll still see the little lines. Don't flatten them out too much. And fold your piece of paper back in half to make that triangle, keeping all your folds up at the tippy top. Now we want to reverse the folds that we did. So this first fold right here, we're gonna flip it the opposite direction so that it opens up and the white part makes a big square. Going on to the next crease, fold it up like an accordion fold. So we see some little white triangles here, but we can see our pattern again. And keep going just like that. Fold it down and fold it back up. This gives you a cool zigzaggy kind of pattern with your patterned or color side and your white side. Flip it over gently to the other side. We're gonna make our cupcake shape now. Take your right point and fold it in to the center. Keep folding until on the side you can see the edge of the fold that we made on the front side. We want it to be nice and straight. We're making kind of a pentagon shape here. Do the same thing with the other side. Keep pulling it over. Flip it back over to the front side so you can see your cupcake liner down at the bottom and your soon to be icing up at the top. We're gonna do a similar kind of thing like we just did. Take your top triangle and fold it back behind the cupcake, leaving just about a half of an inch of white showing on this side. Bring your point back up behind it, but like we did before, we wanna leave a little bit of a fold so that we're showing layers of the icing. It almost kinda of looks like a little sailor hat. Do the same thing one more time to create one more layer of an icing fold Fold it back and then gently fold it back up. To create one final layer. And there you go, you have a cupcake. Now we're gonna try our ice cream cone, our soft serve ice cream cone. For this, you're actually gonna need two sheets of paper. One sheet of paper for the ice cream itself 
and one sheet of paper for the cone. So think about what flavor ice cream you might want and what color paper would go well with that, what flavor cone you might want and what color paper will go well with that. I've got these two sheets of paper I'm gonna use. This one looks super swirly like soft serve. So I'm gonna use this for my ice cream and this for my waffle cone. Flip it over so that the side that you don't wanna see on your ice cream is facing towards you and fold the bottom corner up to meet the top corner like we did for our cupcake. Open it back up and turn it so that your crease is going straight up and down. Similar to how we did our cupcake, we're gonna take our corner and fold it in so that our outside edge lines up right down the middle with our first crease that we made. And same thing on the other side. Your piece of paper at this point will kind of be looking like a kite. Now it's time to make our swirly top of our ice cream. Take your tail down at the bottom, the long tail of the kite, and fold it up diagonally towards the corner, towards the right corner. Press it down. You'll see we've got a big triangle that we've just created and my tail goes all the way across off of my piece of paper. This is very similar to what we did with our cupcake. We're gonna fold it back the opposite way from where it came from so that it's about as tall as my one knuckle is. It might be as tall as your two knuckles are and repeat the same thing again. Fold in it back so that the tail goes the opposite way and then fold it back towards the bottom. Flip it over on the other side and wow, that looks like some really swirly ice cream. Now flip it back over to the back. We need to secure this here so that the ice cream doesn't come undone. We just wanna give a little fold on the side to help keep the top of the swirly ice cream in place. And we only need to do it on our right side where there's more space. Now take the bottom corner, our last little tail, and we're going to lift up this flap here underneath our ice cream cone and fold it all the way up so that it makes a nice flat bottom edge. You see my side edge over here, my bottom edge come together. Our top of the ice cream is done. Let's scoot it over to the side. Oh, it looks so delicious. And let's make our ice cream cone. Again, I would suggest having a colored or, that doesn't matter. Flip it over onto the side that you do not want to use. And once again, we're gonna make that same triangle fold in half. Be very careful and very precise that you're lining up your edges of your paper really nicely. Unfold it to see your white triangle again and create, turn it around so that our crease is going up and down and we're gonna create the same kite shape again. Seeing some similar themes here. Folding one side in so that the edge meets the crease in the middle and same thing on the other side. Excellent. Now we're gonna fold this top part down to make our cone nice and flat on top. So open up your flaps and fold the top corner down so that the edges meet up with the corners of those two edges that we folded in. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. Bam. Makes a beautiful, perfectly even triangle. So again, you fold that top corner down and then like a little package, fold the side edges that we just folded back over top. Now turn it around so that your point is up and we're going to take that bottom flat edge and fold it down so again it kind of looks like a silly paper hat then flip it around so that your triangle is now on the front side 
And that part we just folded is on the back. And take your tail, your tail should be pointing down now. Take your tail, flip it back up about halfway through that trapezoid shape. Flip it over to the other side and you've got a delicious waffle cone. Finally, you're gonna take your ice cream top and your ice cream bottom. If you tip your ice cream bottom up, you should see that there's a little pocket right here inside the flap. All you need to do is to stick your ice cream cone top into that flap as, in your sticky, as if you're sticking it into a cone. Now, if you want it to stay really securely like this, you could take your glue stick and put a little bit of glue inside there so that the ice cream cone top can stick to the ice cream cone bottom. Now you should have made your ice cream cone and your cupcake. You can make as many of these as you, you would like to using all of your origami paper. You could even make this using regular computer paper or printer paper. You just need to be sure to cut it into a perfect square in order to create your origami creation out of it. Now you've got some options. You can keep these little desserts just like they are to play with them, or on your piece of cardstock, you could design a menu just for these desserts and glue your desserts on there with a description of their flavors. Hope you had a lot of fun with these.